Hello and welcome to video number six. And we're gonna talk about a real life example, which is a funnel specifically for abandoned carts. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, when somebody goes to an e-commerce store, for example, and they browse through, through the store and they add a bunch of things to their cart, and then they land on the add to cart page. Now, a lot of people may purchase but then some people may go to the add to cart and for whatever reason, it might be the price, it might be something that they're just not willing to move forward. So in this case, we wanna be able to track every part of the step of the funnel from the beginning to adding the cart to the purchase. And then basically what you wanna do is you wanna create a custom audience telling Facebook, hey, okay, anybody who lands here and lands here, but does not land here, let's add them to a custom audience. So I've created a mind map here, and if you haven't watched the video before this video where I show you where to add the pixels, then I highly recommend that you go back and watch that video. Now, as you can see here, I've created a really basic mind map. So whether you have an e-commerce store or even a sales page, let's say for example, that you're selling a digital product, an ebook or a video course, and somebody lands on the initial page. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a view content standard event. And if you watched the video before, that's where I showed you exactly how to create the code. Now, what I can do here is I can pull this notepad up here and as you can see, this code right here has the view content. And we have this code right here, which is the lead. But in our case, we can do add to cart. So add to cart. So capital A, lowercase dd, capital T, lowercase o, capital C, and then lowercase art. So add to cart. You want to have that like this right here. And then of course you wanna have the third pixel, which is a purchase. So we want to copy that and then change where it says add to cart, you wanna change that to purchase. So capital P, lowercase U-R-C-H-A-S-E. And that's it. So now what we wanna do is we want to go and go to ClickFunnels, go to lead pages, go to your website and you wanna copy that code to the header. So like I said, if you haven't watched the video before this, you need to because I go over that process. So this right here is the first page and this is the view content. And if they click add to cart, they get to the order page. Now bear in mind that most shopping cart systems online will generally allow you to add some sort of tracking pixel on the order page. Now, if they don't allow that, then there is kind of a workaround, but I'm gonna talk briefly about this. I'm not gonna go into it too much because I don't wanna make it too complex. But if there is no option to put an add to cart right here on the order page, then you can use a tracking program it's called clickmeter.com, clickmeter.com. And if you go there, basically the, the site allows you to create tracking URLs. So you can, you can take a URL, let's say for example, this page, you can take that URL and then you can create a tracking link. And within that tracking link, you can embed the add to cart pixel code. So let's just put this down on paper here. So if there is no option to put the Facebook pixel add to cart on the order page, then you can use click meter. Click meter basically takes the URLs and it allows you to embed a Facebook pixel code. So this is kind of a workaround because, you know, back in the day when this wasn't offered, you just couldn't put anything, use that. But click meter, enable that option, which is very, very convenient, especially if pages don't 
allow you to put the tracking code on their page. And that can be the case for some payment processors or even shopping carts. Okay, so that's the basis of it. And then of course we have add to cart and then we have purchase. And then, like I said, you have these three pages. So one, two, and three. Now you wanna basically create a custom audience that says, if somebody lands on this page, so kind of think of some logic here. If then, then this happens. If somebody lands on here, which everybody lands on here, and then they, some people click on add to cart, and for whatever reason, they decided not to go here, we wanna add them into custom audience. And the reason why is custom audience is basically a segment of people who have taken a certain action. So you can say, okay, people who have landed on this page, but they have not landed on this page, let's put them into a segment. And then whenever you do your ads in the future, you can say, okay, so anybody who's in this custom audience, let's show them this discount coupon. So for whatever reason, you'll see a lot of companies will use abandoned cart discounts. So if somebody added to this, but they have it purchased, a lot of the reason could be price. So you could give them a 10% off coupon and you can do it via here. Now we're not gonna get down deep into the Facebook ads or anything like that, because this course is all about tracking and pixels. But the bottom line is most of you will have a page or pages, and then you'll have add a cart, and then you'll have purchase. Now you might be thinking, okay, what's the difference between this and the next video where we talk about the purchase funnel? The next video we're gonna talk about, okay, after they purchase, what can you do next? Maybe we want to show an ad specifically to people who purchased, or how do we figure out what they purchase if we have multiple products kind of thing. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video.